Hey, Turtle Club, good morning. It is 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which means it is time for, well, usually it's time for some kind of Zelda stream, but it's Wednesday, so that makes it Wild Card Wednesday. And we were we were going to play, um, we're actually looking to play Civilization 3 today. Hey, Catwater, how's it going? Um, but lo and behold, things did not go the way we wanted it to go. Civilization 3 did not like RPC. Hey, Shadow. Hey, Hobbs. How are you guys? Um, okay, then. We, we, we have a Pterodon that we definitely can't be doing anything about. So we're going to be playing some more Ark today. Uh, we're going to be trying to get our stuff going on. Uh, we, you know, we tried to stay away from our main game that we're playing because we don't want anybody who can't usually watch on Wednesdays if we don't wind up streaming um, to you don't miss anything out so last we were playing this we were actually trying to build our little hut and get that all finished we got attacked by a, a horrible horrible bird that just would not leave well enough alone so hopefully that doesn't happen again and then we're hopefully going to get leveled up to where we can start making some some of the good stuff in this game. Alright, so we're going to put over our crafting materials. Nothing in there, which of course doesn't help us really. And that eventually is going to expire on us. So, somewhere we probably have some wood. Hey, Chadley, good morning to you. Yeah, okay, so we pretty much have absolutely nothing toward the production of building some basic walls, and there is a Freddy Krueger. So we're going to back pedal. Hey, Zeke, how's it going, man? Oh, uh, well, Pizza Ball, the plan right now is Saturday mornings to absolutely be checking the, the P.O. Box. Um, oh, my spear broke. That wasn't good. That that is the current plan is to Saturdays, um, for sure to trick the PO box. Uh, Zekarov, yeah, I figured that was probably you, man. But yeah, good morning to all you guys in the Turtle Club. Um, boy, we are running hot. We probably could do for a nice, cool drink of water, I guess. Looks like we can also use a, a bite to eat or two. Usually four. Uh, yeah, uh, Pizza Ball, that, that's the intent, man, is every Saturday for certain to check the actual uh, mailbox. And then on Sunday morning stream, if we have anything to show for it, we will also be showing that at the beginning of Shipwreck Sunday. That way the, uh, the events themselves won't necessarily change what's going on. You're going to send me something today. Oh, Shadow. Oh, Shadow. That's awesome, man. And guys, uh, those of you that are curious, um, actually, Snikes, I really need to do that. Let's go ahead and... I for completely forgot. I've, I've been so busy at work, guys. So busy, so slammed. Um, I have a feeling you'll get something on Saturday. <laughs> oh, postal box goes up, and then bam, all of a sudden it happens. So just a second here. We're going to go real quick, and we are absolutely forgot to add that information to our... YouTube channel. And so we're going to do that right now. Hey, Vlogging Chickens, how's it going, dude? Been a bit since we saw you, but glad to see you back. All right, and let's see here. Get that posted in the description, so they'll be there from here on out, too. 
dropping in and leaving a like. All right. Well, thank you for that. Really appreciate that there, James. Okay. And one thing's going there. Okay. We got all that set up. All right. So I'm hot. I should get out of the place nearby the cooktop. All right. Not disagreeing with that at all. But yeah, well, that's, that's way cool, guys. You know, and that was, again, I, I got to give a shout out to the, the UPS store. You know, they're, they are by far um, less expensive than the actual U.S. parcel service that we have here in the States. Speaking of chicken, Stardew got its switch update finally. Ooh. Man, at some point, I'm going to have to go back to playing Stardew Valley on Switch. I I just I just don't have enough time, guys, to play all the games. It's just what it is. All right, so we have a door we can make. Several of those. With any luck. We'll be able to actually walk toward our base and put the walls up. I think we made just enough. Speaking of chickens, oh yeah, I just read that. Duh, mag. Oh, that might have been one too many pieces of wood. Rut row. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Crafting, inventory, lots of wood, hardly any fiber, some stone. Let's see here. Can we make a storage box? Of course we can't. Well, what about any kind of weapons? Because right now it's, it's not so much about the stuff. I guess we just drop it at this point. Um, not using much of the stone. Hopefully that'll actually free us up to... Nope, it won't. <laughs> oh, this is the one thing that I never really did care for last time I played Ark. I have a habit of just looting everything. And I mean everything. And so, not, not you know, when, when they're basically taken care of you by the pound almost in this game. It's not exactly the best. But you kind of get used to it. At least I, I expect I'm supposed to get used to it. Alright, we got some meat in here we can grab. Just put that there. Guess we just split this stack in half. So we got fire. Once again. Alright, so... Grab this, go to our inventory, find these walls. Anything else in our inventory that we can get rid of? How about the 50 pounds of wood that we have on us? What happened with Civilization? Um, it wasn't so much it didn't play well with the capture, is it kept locking up um, even without the capture, which is really weird. Um, it's Civ 3. It was actually part of the um, Humble offerings a while back. I, I picked it up while it was free. Maybe it was maybe it was kind of booby-trapped, I guess. I, I'm not 100% sure. I really was kind of wanting to play it, because last time we were playing... Um, well, it's been a bit now, but we were playing Battle for Wesnoth, and a couple of the Turtle Club members had mentioned that it reminded them of Civ 3. And I was like, well, you know, now that I think about it, I've never played Civ. And so I was kind of surprised. Can I learn Mortar and Pestle yet? I can once I get to six Ingram pieces. Okay. And that's where I need... Is there, where is the bow and arrow at? There's my bola. Yeah, so I gotta get to level 10 eventually. But yeah, it just didn't load up right. And it, it, I tried it, and I went after it, and tried it again, went after it, and finally I just had to give up. Um, I actually uh, felt pretty cool about it because I wound up using the the Steam remote download because I was thinking of games that I had for today's free-for-all or for wildcard rather 
I thought, you know, I have Civ 3. Why haven't I played it? So fiber is what we need. we got plenty of wood, so it's the fiber. And so I, I went about that. Uh, let's see here. Speaking of that, then, can, is there a sickle we can make yet? Yeah, it's level 30. Rip. Okay. So I was going to go ahead and, you know, play that one because I was like, well, out of all of them, I'd much rather play um, Civ out of the games that we haven't played yet or had fun with yet on Wild Card Wednesday. And it just wasn't in the cards. But I used the remote download and let it install that way from the actual Steam app on my phone. And because usually that's the, the biggest thing that I have a problem with when I get here is, you know, I got to get everything installed and set up and all that. And so I was able to kind of, you know, do that remotely on the on the fly. I thought, well, this is going really, really well. And then when I got here, I fired it up. It got to the intro screen. It completely redid all of the actual resolution on my computer, which is usually a good sign that something's going to work horribly uh, when it tries to change my resolution. It is, I understand it is an older game. It defaulted to 640 by 480, and it just locked up. And I was like, oh, well, is it the computer or the game? So I went ahead and tried other games. Everything was fine. Temperature, GPU, all that was great. I'm still not sure what's causing this thing, the the, the dark shadow. I'm, I'm kind of concerned with that. I've updated my graphics. I've uninstalled, reinstalled this particular game. It's doing it in Battlegrounds also. So I'm, I'm not sure where my problem is with that. Yeah, uh, it is a shame it didn't work out for Civ. Um, it, it does help me to kind of plan my day better. Um, to make sure the game's just installed, ready to go. Alright, so we got need the wood and we need the thatch so thatch we get with this better hey kaku yes yeah, sir it is arc today we were going to play civilization 3 but that kind of fell through and we you know we did not get to where we wanted to play arc last time which is unfortunate in my opinion because this is one of those games that i could seriously i mean historically i can sit down it probably would, Chadley. It probably would if I if I started tweaking with the compatibility settings. I usually I don't presume it's a compatibility issue at first. I start by closing all my software down and thinking it's uh, well not a Windows compatibility. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to boil down to. But one thing I've noticed with computer programs of any sort that are running in compatibility settings on this PC, if I'm doing that and trying to stream them. Typically speaking, not all the time, but typically speaking, the game still throws a, a conniption um, with OBS at that point. Ah, that's an overview. That's fine. That's not going to mess with me unless I still it's food. Let's get this wood out. Craft, and we need to craft. One, two, three, four, five. Good luck with your quiz, man. No, oh. you know the being a studio student, man. That that's important. That's important, man. I uh, I did not make the right choice when I was young. I actually. Um, I graduated high school a year early. I, I was just wanting out. You know, high school is is very, very good in my opinion that a large magnifying glass has been brought toward, you know, bullying at its core these days. Hey, I leveled up. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of level up here. Uh, we want to carry more stuff because it's becoming a minor issue now. And, oh, there's the bola. We have 11 Ingram points. Hmm. Well, mortar and pestle and spark powder, I think, is going to be our best bet right now. So we can use that to start kind of leveling up. 
but you know I I uh, you know everybody kind of deals with it in their own way uh, the, the whole bullying thing and my way was I'm not saying it was a bad way entirely but it wasn't the best way either but my, my decision was to simply get out of high school as quickly as I could um, with a degree and uh, there's a big stigma back then on degrees versus you know general education degrees versus a high school degree um, there in my opinion I, I admire people that actually get the GED more so than the people that get the diploma because the GED you really have to actually work on it and go out and achieve it whereas with the the GED um, you know that's what you got to do with a high school diploma though yeah, uh, it's it's surprising and at the same time not surprising how many people get a high school diploma simply by breathing. Um, and I, you know, I mean no offense to anybody with my my opinion on the subject, but I know many many people um, who have diplomas. And have earned them, so don't 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 make me say you know hey, if you got a diploma you're not an intelligent individual because that's not what I'm saying at all. But um, there are some people that got their high school degree by simply attending class, whereas with a, a, a GED it's not the same. You actually there is a standardized test. There's not anyone who can kind of shuttle you through. Not someone who can roll their eyes and say, you know, I, I'm i tired of looking at you coming into my school all the time. I want you to go away. And so, you know, there is a lot to be said about that, in my opinion. There, there are various different things. I don't remember if that thing's more aggressive than I care for, so... But yeah, so my, my goal in, in high school was to get out and get out fast. And again, that was mainly because high school was not a pleasant experience for me overall. You know, I was I was the kid that was odd. I was the kid that was bored a lot. You know, they say that it's usually because you're a gifted individual. I'm, I'm not sure that's necessarily the truth. Um, but I, I would say that the courses that I attended... 90% of them I probably wasn't interested in. And the ones that I was interested in, I, again, I, they weren't exactly what I would consider my favorite people attending them. Alright, check my durability on these. I forgot that I'm using default settings for the most part, which means that these player-made structures will degrade over time while used. All right, so do we have the materials we need to make our mortar and pestle yet? The answer is no. We need a whole lot more stone. But yeah, my, my end game for school was to get out. And so a lot of things wound up getting sacrificed for that. And my GPA was one of those things. I got to the point to where I, I seriously seriously did not care I, I really did not care what my grades were as long as I was receiving high school credit for it that was my overall goal so I, I, I think many temporarily regurgitate knowledge to pass an exam forget it rather than learn this is true as well pizza ball um, one of my my heroes of literature Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes um, put it best, where he actually answered the question on the test correctly. And followed it up with, congratulations, I have proven that I can temporarily memorize something from a printed piece of material and then tell it to you with the intent of never being able to tell it to you again. Ex Mist Crage. Uh, hi. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That oh man, that lightning effect is just beautiful. Yeah, uh, I, I think it was you know I think it was well put. I think it was extremely well put in the comic, 
and that's and that is um, you know it's not exactly what's wrong with our education system I mean we do put a lot of emphasis on tests ex mystic rage okay I sense a lot of rage there with all the caps there, but that's okay. Nightbot sees you pretty fast on the on the cap thing. Well, Mystic Rage, I am Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and that's myself and my wife who run this channel. My wife Digrat's currently out of state. Um, she will be returning this weekend for her actual Skyrim series. Oh boy, we are still not quite where we want to be. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. We should have a mortar and pestle um, by the end of this particular run through, I think. Let's see if we can't, perchance, repair this one here. Uh, oh, the stone. And the wood. Interesting, all sorts of stuff. I appreciate that, man. Welcome to the Turtle Club, man. But yeah, a lot of people were like that, Shadow. Uh, you know, and I know that mine's not a unique situation, but I, at the time, I thought it was, right? I absolutely, had I known um, then what I know now, I, I may have tried for, for better grades, uh, depending upon when in time you asked me, right? Because the, the truth of the matter is, I, at this point in my life, I could care less. Ten years ago? Yeah. Ten years ago was a big deal. Yeah, that's a very tall order pizza ball. Uh, very tall order to make education tailored to the the people that are being educated. Um, there's some of that in the the public school system in the United States, just just a bit though. I mean, there there's the the schools of thought that people learn things differently, and the, the U.S. does explore that. You know, some people are visual learners. All right, well, take care, man. Uh, some people are auditory learners. And some people are are hands-on, right? So you have to to be able to encompass all three learning types. You must must allow that to be incorporated across. It's not an easy thing to do. It's definitely a, a tall order. Um, and I, I I do have many relatives um, and friends that are in the education profession. This is not good. All right, so let's see if we can make a torch real quick. No, we are missing wood. Can we see a tree in this darkness? There is a tree there. Oh, wait, we do have a torch. Oh, mag. Come on, man. Be smarter than that. Not sure what that was. Hope it's frightened by fire. All right, so at this point, uh, yeah, after high school, I went on to college. I actually had a very good ACT score. I had a horrible GPA. I got out of high school with a 2.6 GPA. Um, and that's, you know, that's my mistake by not realizing that, one, high school was free. And oh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. That's that's one thing that we're hoping not to run into. 
Uh, I don't think you can really appreciate education at, at that this age. Maybe some do. Yeah, I, I agree, Catwater, with that as well. You know, I, I think any stretch of the of the education process, uh, no matter if it's, you know, just being educated or beyond that even, that I can't place it on that. That's right. I can place it here, though. But I, I think what we wind up with, right, is people that kind of don't quite get all their education where they needed to. And at the same time, and they focus on the wrong pieces. I don't think I need wood inside there. But uh, yeah, I did study. I went to college. I attended the local community college. Northern Oklahoma Community College, also known collectively in that area of the country as no other choice. Uh, and hey, Indigo, yeah, hello to you, man. Um, and I studied computer science there. And what I discovered very quickly about computer science is that anyone who wants to have an actual career in computers needs to not have a computer science degree. Um, and that's, that's a horrible thing to say to anybody who's out there pursuing a computer science degree but if you are i i actually do a very heavily involved computer job um handling network traffic on a actual rtp voip system and my i haven't even used my college degree um, well, I say degree, but the stuff that I've learned in college, I have not used half of it, if that. But the thing with computer science that makes it so bad to go into as far as a degree-seeking field is the field itself is way too quick, way too fast-paced. Anything you're going to learn pursuing a computer science degree, you're going to be outdated by the time the the degree itself is achieved so if you want to get into a computer field certifications are going to be kind of your way in but if you're wanting to be a programmer which is what i was pursuing at the time that's not even a good way in if you want to be a programmer what you have to have is a portfolio it matters not what degree you have it matters can you show the code that you put together in the finished product and they're not even, agencies don't even really care if you know how to program um, per se. They, they do. I mean, the recruiter, the HR person, the individual who wears the suit and tie and is supposed to determine if you are smart enough to do the job that they're asking is going to ask you a, a boilerplate list of questions. But that ain't going to prove if you know what you're doing. It just isn't. I mean, any any programmer in the field, if you actually sit them down with a piece of paper and a pencil and you tell them to write out the code that will compile to do a, I wouldn't say a, a complex task or a complicated task, but an involved task, like setting up an SQL table um, from an actual script, allowing someone to then enter that table, update it, retrieve the data from it, connect to a secondary database afterwards, and move the information from one to another from, from rote memory. You're not going to find anybody that's able to do that that hasn't spent the last 20 hours reading the book and prepping themselves just for those questions. Um, most employers, smart ones, are going to say, well, cool, you know your stuff. You um, are overqualified for this position. And they're, they're going to give you the boot at that point. If, if they're smart. And again, I, I say that because no one can memorize a whole entire programming language, database structuring system, coding routine system, and then top it all off with some actual kind of um, database structuring with with 100% certainty for everything.
I mean, it's just not there. Not, not all the time. So what they're usually going to be looking for is, do you understand the language enough to where can you read it? Can you produce the results that we need? And that is the big key. How quickly can you produce the results? Because if you can do it from complete rote memory, but it takes you an hour, and I can sit down on a computer and bash out the same code in 45 minutes with Google, they're going to hire me. They're not going to care what you can do. The only time that I'm not going to be anywhere near as effective is if the Internet's down. And these days, all these kind of actual programming systems are all cloud-based. And because they're cloud-based, they're not going to care if I can't code when the Internet's down. Because lo and behold, when the Internet goes down, so does my ability to code, so does the coding system. Hey, Cherry! Glad to see you. Glad to see you, Cherry. And guys, if you're not sure who Cherry is, Cherry's actually one of my fellow streamers, along with Chadley. Uh, Chadley kind of got in here real early today, and we usually do shout-outs to our fellow streamers that we support. Um, but it was so early, it was just, you know, Chadley and a couple other guys that I, I knew already knew Chadley. But yeah, as far as, so, you know, and again, guys, it's it's not... It's not every profession, you know. I mean, if you're going to get um, a business degree, that's that's still not really 100% um, useful in the world for, you know, having a degree. But, um, wait, that's not a rock. That's a horse apple. We'll leave that alone. But, um... Not going to school the oh yeah you know cherry my allergies did the exact same thing today i think you and i are both on the same side of the country if i remember right in the southeastern part of the united states something has kicked it all up and it is it is no bueno um but yeah as far as like if you're degree seeking cool i'm not gonna i'm not trying to tell you don't but and, and you know and this is one of those buts um you know everything's got a caveat some degrees are, are absolutely worth it. I mean, if you're going to get a degree in engineering, you, you need to have an engineering degree. I mean, the knowledge that you're going to gain in engineering. Your sister is sick and you're getting sick. Korok leave. Sorry to hear that, man. Sorry to hear that. It started last night, actually. Yeah, mine started hitting me like about 10 p.m., 9 p.m., somewhere around there. I noticed it. And it just was not good. Not good at all. Campfire 303. Oh, okay, cool. There's the food. Grab the food out of there. Put douse the fire. Do I have my level up yet? I don't. It's getting there though. Alright, put the rocks in. Make some more of that. So close, so close. Water's Korok Leaf, yeah. Got to make sure the Korok Leaf, man, you got to keep it, keep that moist, man. But so that was, that was the thing that I wound up finding out in, in college is uh, twofold. Number one, the computer science degree I was pursuing was... Oh, Wow. This is this is the same parental unit that took away your Discord, right? I mean, if you're really sick, by all means, be really sick. But if you're trying to get on our good graces and get things restored, you probably don't want to get into a text war, at least not publicly. Um, just just the uh, the wisdom of age speaking there is all. Though, uh, you know, I, I'm not the best person to ask for these days, though, because, I mean, my, my wisdom comes from... You know, from before the internet. Uh, you know, when the internet first came out, guys, I was nine. Maybe not even that. Um, yeah, I, I would say nine. Maybe eight, because it was the BBS days back then.
Come on. Just a few more experience points. Oh yeah, BBS. Absolutely. I uh, I was on several BBSs local to the area. All right, so I've got definitely going to get the bow. And the stone arrow is kind of important. The spyglass is going to become super important as well. Narcotics, we need another level up to get. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that is definitely a downside to mobile tech. Is that if, if your parents um, need to ground you, uh, they can do so with the push of a button. This is a USB floppy disk. It is USB powered. I don't have enough USB slots to have it powered up at all times. But I have it there, man, because I still use floppy disks. There are a lot of really good games and a lot of good tools on a floppy disk. Uh, AOL is your first experience with the Internet. Oh, wow. You know, a lot of people had AOL as their first experience with the Internet. Um, my father, um, real big into technology. Oh, you, sir. About to be chased down and beaten to death with a torch. yet. Oh, he's actually he's kind of being tamed. So what is the goal in this game? The goal in this game is to eventually make your way off the island. Um, and the way you do that is by befriending some dinosaurs. Some are just jerks. And I need to find out what it is I'm missing for my torch. Wood and flint. So, stuff that I should have. Very little problem getting by climbing up this hill. Oh, 100 free hours of AOL, man. You know, that those those hours, they never went away. <laughs> I uh, Toward the end of my tenure with... With CompuServe, who I worked for, we, we did some some other stuff with AOL, and you you absolutely yeah oh yeah jerky dinos. Um, not all the dinos here are, are friendly. Not all of them are as, as polite as that last one we come across either, though. But AOL had pretty uh pretty aggressive marketing. Um, if you wanted to leave AOL, they absolutely acted like a cult. And they would give you more hours free to try to keep you there. Because AOL, true true thing about AOL, um, back in its heyday, it wasn't about making money um, the traditional way. They were one of the pioneers that Amazon kind of modeled their stuff after. AOL wasn't about getting paid by people. Uh, Grandma still uses AOL email. I still have an AOL Messenger account. Um, I don't know if it's active. I know what the username and password is. But, you know, AOL was pretty far stretching. I mean, they had a great strategy. America Online. And they gave you 100 hours of free internet. And their, their big, huge sales pitch was 10 minutes a day to check your email. Oh, she probably has Gmail like all, most of everybody now. But the thing is, though, she probably has friends, and I use that term in the parentheses kind of system. She has people that are friends of hers, acquaintances of hers, those individuals that she hung out with on the internet way long ago, that the only way, the 
only way they will ever find her is through that AOL account. So let's see what we need to do to make a bow and arrow, guys. Crafting bow. We need fiber and wood. So let's go get our fiber and wood. Yeah, I worked for CompuServe, um, late 90s. I actually was uh, part of their tech support, and then I became internal help desk. Which basically, if you stumped the guy on the phone, the guy that they turned to afterwards was me. And then eventually I became part of their escalation line. Um, <laughs> you don't think she's got friends on that account? Well, then it might be enemies then. Uh, <laughs> if you ain't got friends, you got enemies. One of the two. But uh, the supervisorial staff uh, was sorted into two groups. One who took the actual customer service line uh, escalations. And there was a lot of those, a lot of those. Uh, they eventually became a subsidiary, uh, Pizza Ball. They were a separate entity. CompuServe originally only handled business clientele. So if you were an internet company who was trying to get dial-up internet service, CompuServe was your go-to company. And then AOL started blowing up, and CompuServe realized that internet wasn't just for rich people and companies anymore and so they then started going out of their way to woo the American public so I need wood now but the thing is though is CompuServe still treated all their customers business or otherwise as if it was a different side of the fence um, basically if you treated CompuServe employees with disrespect enough they had the right to terminate your account they had the right to kill off your business um, just if you did not keep the they, they were really pro employee pre AOL purchase this actually takes fiber flint and thatch and we're going to craft as many of those as we can It, w it was actually really cool. Um, they were pro-employee. They, they thought that if you were not going to treat their employees with respect, um, and, there, and that, that was a two-way street though, right? They expected a lot out of their employees. If you were on the phone, you were expected, you were a member of their company, you were a representation of their company. You treated the customer on the other end of the phone um, as a valued employee, uh, customer. Um, but as soon as the customer broke that etiquette, uh, we used to joke and say it was the, the bringing your mom into it. You know, once they brought your mom into it, that, that was when everything was off. You know, if they called you crosswords, you said, you know, sir or ma'am, we need to keep this conversation on a professional business level. And if they could no longer keep it at a professional business level, then the, the expectation at the time was this is no longer a business relationship we no longer need you as a customer have a good day and that was the way we were trained uh, that was the way we were we expected things to go and i i to this day i i still look on my my time with CompuServe very fondly um, because of that being their their way of dealing with things all right, let's see here. Let's get rid of this extra pickaxe. We're going to keep this. We're going to load that with all of our arrows. I don't think we need the slingshot anymore. In case we die, we might put the metal there. And man, it, it always it always makes me sad to see somebody ruin their career like that. Oh well. All right, so we got all that material, all the information we needed there. We're still trying to level up. Uh, we have a pickaxe. We need to get some stone and some flint. 
We have plenty of that here. We're going to craft as much spark powder as we can right now. Hey, Ant Head, how's it going, dude? We're back to playing with dinosaurs, man. And we're getting we're getting better. We're getting better. They're about to break this axe. I can already tell. Probably on this tree. Yep. That's what I was figuring was going to happen. But yeah, a long, long time ago, guys, I worked for CompuServe, and that was, you know... Huh. Oh, and had you officially made it, man. When Pizza Balls got an emoji for you, dude, you, you know you are, you know you are, okay, that's a micro raptor. Those things we do not play with. We do not mess around with. These things, we, we kill them on site, guys, because they are, they're okay by themselves. Yeah, exactly. The little ones can get extremely scary. And, uh-oh. Okay. As bad as we thought it was about to be. Okay. You've officially arrived. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I was saying, man. If, if Pizza Ball is calling you out by an emoji, man, you have arrived. And that is, that is the awesomest feeling. Get this pickaxe back to being repaired. Eventually, we're going to tame one of those things. But we are very, very far away from even... Fighting those things in its own zip code, let alone fighting up close and personal with them. If, when we get to where we can tame one, though, it's going to be great, guys. It's going to be great. One of the Freddy Kruegers, one of those threads of sources. All right, so. Drop the flint in. Create more spark powder. We need more stone in there too. Like being knighted, but way less meaningful. <laughs> I don't know if it's way less meaningful, but it is. It is like being knighted, though. It's kind of like having a nickname in a club, you know. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna keep the marrows on us. Put some meat in there. We're going to light the fire. We're going to put our spoiled meat in here because that's what we'll need for some narcotics later. Oh, we can. That We can, man. It, it eventually, we will be taming a lot of stuff. Um, that's one thing I really do enjoy about Ark. Is that you can, you can absolutely tame all the little ones. And get them in groups and train them and feed them. And basically they become your little minions. Uh, here's what we're looking for, another, another rock node.
And we're so close. So close to where we can start doing some really, really awesome things involving the dinosaurs. Easy gaming. That will eventually happen. We are level 9. <laughs> we are nowhere near Tame a Giga. We are nowhere near Tame a Giga, man. Eventually we'll be there, though. Eventually we will be there. All right. And craft all the spark powder we can. All right, so we are hot. We understand this. What level are you? Oh, easy gaming. Welcome to the Turtle Club, man. Well, get our arrow back, but it looks like that wasn't going to be the best way to go about trying to get some, some more meat so we can start spoiling it. But yeah, welcome to the Turtle Club, man. Appreciate you being here. My name is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and we play a variety of games. Today's Wild Card Wednesday, where we basically dust off one of our um, older games, not necessarily older per se, but one that we streamed a while back, and we're just kind of bringing it back. Um, we typically stream Majora's Mask for Majora's Morning Muffin. That's 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time until 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, though that's real life permitting. Um, for example, in about a week or so, we're going to actually be out of state. So we really won't be able to maintain. We're going to actually keep that meat there so we can let that spoil. we got enough cooked meat now. I think we're good. Alright, so what are we missing from our spear? Uh, we got to recraft a whole other spear, don't we? Yep. We're missing everything. Fiber, flint, and wood. We'll just go spearless for a while, guys. That, though, the axe has to be fixed. Flint, thatch, and wood. Eh, alright. Grab us a little bit of... Actually, you know what? Yeah, a little bit of wood. A little bit of thatch. Um, Fortnite, I do play, but not the Fortnite you're thinking of. I actually play Fortnite Save the World, which is basically like Ark without the dinosaurs. Uh, it's got zombies in it instead, or aliens, however you want to say it. Alright, we need flint, thatch, and wood to get back on track. Uh, PUBG, nah man, PUBG's really not my kind of cup of tea. But by Fortnite, you're meaning like Fortnite Battle Royale. And to be honest, that's the exact same game as PUBG. Uh, the only difference is one, you, you build stuff, and the other one, you drive cars. I mean, just calling it like I see it. Whether or not that's 10% different is what the courts will have to decide. And I am tired. I don't think I'm near blackout tired, though, yet. Okay, no. But, um, to that end, though, we do what's called free-for-all Fridays. Every Friday, we let our top donor decide what we play. And they get to actually choose the game um, based upon what's in our library. Or if they've actually donated beyond what the cost of a new game would be, uh, we let them choose that as well. Uh, speaking of which, I forgot to update. Indigo D wants to see Mario Kart. And so his 237, which is the current top donation for the week, will go toward playing Mario Kart, and that'll be Friday night at 8 p.m., unless someone overtakes him. 
And that's just our way of saying thank you to the people who actually contribute to the channel. Um, we have some people that have been here forever. Lots of deep topics, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, just exactly like when Calvin and Hobbes are on the toboggan. There would always be a, a great topic between those two. Great topic between those two. They would be racing toward death. And while they're racing toward death, and that's one of those things, you know, when people are when people are able to see their whole entire life flash before their eyes, they can really think about the important things, right? And that's another reason why I like this game. I, I uh, It requires, I don't want to say very little concentration, but I've played it so much. This so much um, that we... Uh, Didn't realize I was so close to being the person to choose. Um, is this official? Uh, no, this is PC. Uh, private. It's uh, The stats are not quite official. Uh, the only thing that I've changed for the actual settings is the tame speed. I have increased the tame speed. Everything else, though, um, I have kept as is. And that's a, a personal choice, mainly because the... The game, in my opinion, the survival elements of it, the back and forth of it, the grindingness is kind of what I like out of it, and I'm not big enough for that. Um, oh, um, there is one mod, and it's the Death Helper mod, and that's only in this game as a... <laughs> as a, uh, a way to keep the actual entertainment for when I die from getting into the whole entire, I have to go through and rebuild everything. I mean, no one wants to see that, and that's the reason why I have the personal death helper mod on. And we're not quite to our level up, but we're awfully close. Alright, everything's good there still. We're going to put this meat in there to let it spoil. Put the spoiled meat in there that in, drop that in, and craft all the spark powder. Yeah, um, and that's, you know, I, I don't have anything against mods per se, it's only RJ, um, but my largest thing uh, uh, that I dislike about the mods in this particular game, oh, um, I guess if we have to Kill something, it might as well be one of those, right? But, and it's, it's, again, it's a personal choice. I would much rather not subject everybody to hours upon grinding a death, and then, congratulations, hours upon grinding. It's just not the way that I like to go about things. All right, so now, now we're cooking with some stuff here now. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. Yeah, some mods don't go together. This is very true. Um, other mods are, they're okay. I, you know, they're like there's the Pokemon mod that turns them all into Pokemon. That That's, that was one of the worst things to ever watch somebody play, in my opinion. Some mods help make the game better, most make the game totally different. They do. Uh, and that's usually a good sign of a really good modding community, is if you can actually modify a game to the point to where you could almost sell it as a different one. Yeah, I'm kind of with you there, Pizza Ball. Uh, not Pizza Ball, Chadley. I'm, I'm kind of there with you, ma'am. Uh, I would much rather play what the developers had in mind. What do I need to grab for that? Some stone. All right. Grab two of those. Oh, I think I think uh, I think Shadow might have an idea what I got coming up. I, I might. I might. All right, let's see here. Put that there. Oh, I, I bet that's one Ingram I still don't have yet, isn't it? 
Uh, oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so I, we're still okay, though. We're still okay. I think we can do what we need to do. All right, let's get our slingshot back. Got some stones. We don't need the narc on us yet. Keep that in there to... Uh, let's see, grab that. Split stack. Split all. And uh, it's unsplitting on us. That's right. I think I actually have to drag it over by hand. And it's still a little... Oh, it's auto combining. Oh well. We'll just do it that way then. Put the narco berries back. I hear what I want to hear. Oh, not one of those things. It's not what we want to see. You slide everything down a slot. Yeah, uh, we had an, an ichthy actually attack us on the last orc stream we did, and it was super aggressive. I mean, hyper aggro to the point to where it almost wrecked the whole entire ca base we had. We were we were not we were definitely not feeling it there. Oh, there's a threads. I, I would much rather fight the ichthy than the. Uh. Boy, this is just not going to be our day today, guys. All right, see you, Hobbs. Yeah, we're we're about done, guys. I'm I'm just going to try to, and by try, I mean I'm gonna make the attempt. Man, it is so close to something we don't want to fight with. Here we go. Ah. I don't remember which of these you like to eat. I don't remember if it was meat that you like to eat either. So we're just going to let you have all of it. And we're going to keep you protected. Uh, how often do I stream? Uh, JR, I stream every morning at 8 a.m. Uh, you can do exclamation time or exclamation schedule. It is meat. All right. Thank you, Easy. It's been a long time since I've played, man. That's a Trudon. Oh, no, 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 no. We are going to get all the way away from the Trudon. Forget the Trudon. Ugh. Uh, we're probably going to die to a Trudon. Ooh. Ooh, it's only RJ, man. Thanks for thanks for stepping, dude. Oh no. Oh rip. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, at least we have a bed. We can respawn on our bed. Okay. Oh man. Okay. So we got.
We got wrecked. What is the bed required? Because we know we're going to need another one. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, true dawns are terrible. I didn't see the other two. And that was really what we were trying to avoid. Was true dawn. If we could. And those things are just vicious. Vicious. Yeah, um, they they are usually when you think about raptors from Jurassic Park, what you're really thinking about are trudons. At least this one's dead. I'm gonna take a tide and its meat. And uh, took my glasses too, huh? All right, how are you doing over here? You are taming nowhere near as fast as your consciousness. And that true, that, where? Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to get some knockberries. Yeah, they give torpor, they have a poison that's bad. Hey, Marines, or Marins. I'm not sure exactly how we'd pronounce that name. I'm going to put those berries there just on the safe side, and I'm pretty sure we would rather like raw meat than cooked meat. And we are going to feed that to you. Probably give split half. All right. And the one thing I really hate about Trudons, more than anything, more than anything, is if you want to tame one, um, you have to sacrifice your own dinosaurs to them. Yeah, I actually uh, played with some guys. One of them wanted to, wanted to tame a Trudon. He wanted a whole Trudon army. And I I told him, I said, man, you, you just don't realize what it is that you're really asking there. And he said, well, uh, I'm still wanting it. And I'm like, all right, well, here's what you got to do. You're going to need to go tame like 15 other animals and hope for the best. And he's like, wait, what? I said, yeah, man, you got to tame them. And then, then when you tame them, to get the actual tame credit for a Trudon, you have to sacrifice your own dinos to it. Yeah, that's what I figured was going to happen. Drink a little bit of that. Ugh. Yeah, oh yeah, and it's um, it's something like, I want to say it's 30 dodos, 
Yeah, you don't tame them. I don't tame them either. I uh, I usually, once I have some sort of flying dino, <laughs> oh yeah. Well, there are two of them that killed me over here. So there's there's one down here that had to have answered the call, and there's one over here that had to have answered the call. So I'm 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 not at all surprised that there's another one here. Alright, so now we have an actual tamed pterodon named Agrajag. Burn them to the ground? I would if I could, man. I so would if I could. And if any of you guys have any idea about anything involving the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you may have an idea of why we named this poor guy Agrajag. Maybe not. All right, so All right, I'm trying to remember what the button is to make them land. I think it's I want to say it's that, maybe not. Good. Yeah, I, I thought it was Asterisk? Okay. And we're going to use Asterisk then. Doesn't seem to be Asterisk, so let's... Alright, let's see here. We are going to Behavior. We are going to... Oh, it's actually T. T to follow or not follow. Pretty sure that's what it is. Maybe not. Options. Back. Behavior. No. Yeah, that's what it is. Thank you for that, man. It, it's been a... Well... Ain't that a kick in the pants? I... Think all of our hard work with our pterodon is about to go... Down and up in smoke. I'd rather fight the true dawn again, guys. I would rather fight the true dawn than fight the Therazosaurus. Oh my gosh. Hey, RJ, we, we do keep things. Yeah, there it was. It's dead. Yeah, I, I think it knows where I'm at, man. I, I think it has every idea where I'm at. I think it went after my pterodon. It killed him, so we'll have to retain one of those on the next stream, guys. But yeah, guys, um, I am going to be calling it quits, dudes and dudettes. Turtle Club, I, it's time for me to go to bed. And tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., I will be back here with Majora's Morning Muffin. Uh, we are currently in the water temple. Uh, I think that's what it is. Trying to purify stuff. So I will see you guys then. 
Unfortunately, uh, I was hoping to get the Pterodon back here and be able to just rest it. But we're going to have to re-establish that the next time we play ARK. So guys, thanks for watching. This is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming saying have a good morning, have a good evening, have a good night. Whatever you're going to have, make sure it's good.